I love this place. Uh, I've been on it all my life, and I, I just love it down here. For John Garver, life on the Susquehanna River is almost perfect. You see when the sun comes up, it can't, the towers cast a shadow over there? That's about the only damn thing they're good for. Shadows of Middletown's past, Three Mile Island. It's something you live with. You, you have no control over it, so you, you live with it, and you hope that uh, these people are running it right. That wasn't the case 39 years ago, when TMI's nuclear reactors melted down. When you hear the sirens go off down here, uh, it, it brings back memories. An accident in the water cooling system. It, it was uh, scary, not knowing what was going on, and uh, you, know, you could smell it in the air. And 39 years later, Middletown is still synonymous with one of the most serious nuclear accidents in American history. Things happened uh, and we weren't prepared for it. Robert Reed took over as mayor just three months earlier. We turned on the television, went from channel to channel trying to get information with no success. We turned on the radio, we went from station to station, no information. Reed says 5,000 people evacuated Middletown alone. People left town in, in fright uh, and left doors open, left money and jewelry on their, their tables. I issued an order that uh, police would uh, shoot all looters. You had a shoot to kill order? Shoot to kill. We have sort of panic hit because lack of information. People don't know what's going on. But Dr. Samuel Selker never left. Neither did any of his employees. He had each person in his dental office wear film badges to measure radiation. Every employee lived within five miles of the, and I said, keep them with you 24 hours. When the results came back, no employees received any radiation measured out to four decimal points. Today, Middletown is steamrolling into a new era, but for Three Mile Island, time is up. 40 years after the 1979 accident, TMI will close next year. Owner Exelon says it's simply losing too much money. It's sort of ironic the accident 40 years ago is killing the plant now. And according to former mayor, now Middletown Councilman Robert Reed, that's bad for business. Three Mile Island makes donations to the police department, to the local library. All those projects are going to be lost. More than $300,000 to be more specific, along with 675 people soon looking for work. I feel empathy for the workers down here. They're going to lose their jobs. Though as the future comes into view for John Garver, he's happy leaving TMI in the past. It don't make me unhappy. Never wanted, to, never wanted it there to begin with.